Hey, it's Gothy, and I have some cross-stitch updates and some haul, so yeah. Um, also, red lipstick. Um, I explained this in my last booktube update, um, but I'm doing um, red lipstick and red nail polish, though it really needs to be fixed up, um, for something called Red My Lips, and it is a um, movement organization sort of thing um, promoting awareness of sexual abuse and you know rape culture all that sort of thing so yes that's what that is um, uh, so I'll be doing red lipstick red nail polish for all of April um, yeah so um, for haul I have some new hand dyed floss from a new hand dyer um, I have some new needle minders from No More Lost Needles I have, I just need to move something out of the way, okay, um, where did it go, there it is, I have a new pattern, I have, this one I've had on my wish list for a very long time, this is Sleepy Hollow from Glendon Place, and I, I, was lo I, I fell in love with this pattern the first time I saw it, and yeah, I, I really like it. I'm very happy. It was ten dollars um, because my this is where I start to get into the updates. So this is my um, St. Patrick's Day stitch along for cross stitch is crazy. Um, this is a memorial piece to my late grandfather, hence the Sinclair instead of Irish. Um, unfortunately, the pattern didn't say that I needed two skines of the um, Weeks Dye Works Green. So I got to this point and ran out, and I still have to fill in all of the clovers. Yeah, all of the clovers. Um, so I looked at buying some online um, and having it shipped to me, but to get one skine was going to be at least nine dollars postage, um, and skines are like two, three bucks. So I went looking in a whole bunch of different places for a skine here in Australia. Ended up finding one eventually uh, that came from Perth. So I got that. The only thing I'm worried about now is because I didn't buy two at the same time because I didn't know I needed two. Um, the pattern didn't say that I needed two, it just said one. Um, is that the one that I got from 123 Stitch with the pattern didn't have too much variation in it and it was a lot darker. Now the one that I got, this one, has a ton more variation in it and is lighter than the one that I've already been stitching with, which has a few darker spots, but otherwise it's fairly even. So they're not quite the same, but I think I'll get away with it because I'm, I'll be filling in these ones. With it so hopefully that's enough this time um, but that was a little annoying I had to go through I started looking through all of the Sydney shops that I could then I went to Queensland and then Victoria and eventually I ended up in Perth so I was lucky they had one and it was I think it cost me three dollars something and then three dollars for shipping and then they had the um, Blend in place pattern for 10 bucks, so I threw that in there too. Thinking, hey, I'm already paying shipping, so yeah, but that's that's where I am with that one. I will hopefully finish it this month. Um, so that is that one that can sit there, and I didn't get as much stitching done this month as I planned to. It's been a very crazy month, um, like really, really crazy. Um, oh yeah, that's that one, and that one. Just getting some of the other haul stuff. Um, yeah, so it's been a really crazy month. Um, that one's behind me. God damn it. I haven't even cleaned my room lately. Like, just, I, I, I've pretty much been in that state where if I'm not running around doing something, I'm at home thinking, oh, I should be stitching. I should get some stitching done. I've got lots of stitching to do. And I get no stitching done, so. Um, as for my 
project thingy. Project thingy. Um, so these are the three new starts that I made last month. The labyrinth stitch along, or the labyrinth sampler for the sampler stitch along, the pre Lich King Arthas, and the St. Patch Sow. I also started one that I don't have listed on here, and I'm doing the little odd job bear, um, which I had a kit for from the old cross stitch, ma uh, cross stitch magic magazine that used to come out in Australia. Um, I had this one in a kit, and he is just about finished. Um, it's taking me a lot longer than I thought because I lost my stitching bug. And it's just been really hard to get back because I've been so busy. But that is where he is at now. I have a bit more of the teddy bear to fill in. There's two little spots of blue on this end. I have some shadow shading sort of stuff to do here. And then it's his back stitch. And he's done. So, and he has he has a little frame that he comes with. So that will be done quite easily. Um, so I didn't work on Arthas. Um, I didn't work on the quote stitch along, and I didn't work on my Heaven and Earth design last month. So, yeah. Hopefully this month will be a little less crazy. Um, it probably won't be because I have decided to go back to studying. And I will be going back to TAFE sometime soon. I have my orientation on the 20th of April when I find out my start date and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. I am a glutton for punishment apparently. I'm going back to study. Um, I'm going to be doing a certificate four in youth work for the first semester. And then I'll be switching to a mental health cert four. Um, yeah. So apart from that, I got some more colouring books. I got... This little one, this is um, an Australian publisher and um, illustrator. And these ones are really cool. Some of them are very sort of simplistic kitty sort of ones. But some of them are really pretty. Some really pretty flowers and um, dragonflies. That's probably the main reason I got it because I'm obsessed with dragonflies. Um, yeah, so these ones. These ones are very little, they're very simplistic. Um, yeah. Got that one, I can go up there now. I got a bigger one from the same illustrator and publisher. And this one has some much bigger ones. Doing the right way. And yeah, I really like them. Oh, I just thought they were cool. I grabbed a couple for Andrew too while he was camping, so he had something to do because um, it was raining all weekend. Um, also got this vampire one, and this one's done by Marty Noble, who is the same person that did my the body art tattoo one that I have. So I'm very happy. I like vampires. Yeah, we've got like the old sort of hairy vampire, and I haven't I haven't been coloring much lately either. Got the Nosferatu vampire. We have some other vampires. I don't remember. But I, I think this one avoided the whole Twilight vampire. Oh, no, wait, there it is. I think I need to just rip this one out or just purposely colour the other opposite page with something fill it in because no one likes Twilight Vampires. Well, I don't like Twilight Vampires. Where did that one go? That was my, I think that's my favourite. This is definitely my favourite one out of the whole book. But yes, Vampires. Um, so I've got Floss, which I have in a video that will come after, as well as the Ninewinders. I also got my two Ice Dye fabrics and the piece that I won from the Colour Cascades session sale as well. So this one is 22 Count Hardanger. And this is a mist dye of the colour Moon Shadow. This is really pretty. And yeah, so this is like purples and whites. And it's a mist dye because there are the big pink streaks 
I don't know how well that's showing up. It's not showing up as really purple. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's sort of showing up blue, but it's, it's purple with some pink streaks. Um, so that's the mist eye. Which I think looks pretty cool anyway. But it's a 22 count hard angle. And I got a hard angle book now. So I may try and do some hard angle stuff in it. On it. Why not? That can go there. That needs to go in my hand eye box. Um, this one I got some 20 count and 18 count um, ice dyes where I just picked a bunch of random colours to see what happens basically. Um, so this one, I don't remember what colours I picked. This one I think is um, purple, blue, there's some orange, which might have been yellow actually. Um, but this one's coming out really nice. It's lots of different colours. There's like oranges and yellows and greens and blues and purples and some really light pinks and yeah, this one turned out really nice. I, I just wanted some random colour ones. I, I was trying to think of some really weird colour mixes and I just, I was blanking for colours so I just went, oh, random, random, random. I know, I just, I, I like the idea of having some really weird fabrics. And this one is the 18 count. And next time I do a big lay by, I'm going to get a lot of opal fabrics. These are all just the planes. Um, so this one I think was yellow, red, and something else, probably orange. Um, but again, it comes out lots of different colors. That almost looks like a love heart down there. But yeah. And of course, my camera is not super color friendly. It's not color accurate, so it's a lot more pink in real life, which I'm okay with. It looks fine. And that can go back in the bag. Oh, the box is crap on it. I was gonna pull the box down of color fabrics, but oh well. Anyway, screw it. These things will stop falling everywhere. No falling, not allowed. Yeah, my Enchanted Forest book. I'm actually thinking because, let's move that. I can go over there actually. So I need to work on that one. So the inside of the dust jacket for the Enchanted Forest is just this huge leafy thing. And I'm actually kind of tempted to um, colour the two end bits and then cut it and have these bits coloured as well and stick them up on my wall because the dust jacket just gets in the way. I, I have, I am not a fan of dust jackets. I don't really like dust jackets. Um, I haven't actually finished anything yet, but I've started this one and I started, I started the dragonfly. There's, no, there's probably no surprise it's the first one I started, but I haven't finished that one yet either. Like I said, I haven't really been colouring or doing much at all. So that's coming along. Just trying to... Yeah. So, yes. Let's get in there. And then I have the other colouring books. There's the damn pattern! Jesus Christ! I was looking for the pattern for the quote stitch along and I couldn't find it and I thought I was going crazy because I knew I had it out somewhere because it wasn't in the box with the fabric and stuff. But oh, this is my big box of hand dyed fabrics. This is where I keep them. It's also got some other fabrics in there, but look at all the fabrics. I think I have a problem. Except it's a very good problem to have. They can go in there until I am ready for those. This is going to be a longer video than I had had intended. Oh, ah! stay. And that can go back up there for now. All right. So the other thing I have to show is um, Andrew went camping on the weekend, and he brought me back this 
handcrafted like steampunky owl. And it is very cool. I now have to find a way to put it, but I'm very happy with it. It's very pretty. Now, updates. Mm. So, me and Andrew got crafting, and I made a fake QSnap and QSnap desk frame, lap frame. So, yeah, it cost us maybe 20 bucks for the materials. We got a bunch of extra too, just in case. And at the moment, my Mirabilia is on there. I started filling in the black part in here. And I'm probably going to leave her on here and just work on her on this. It is a really big adjustment learning to cross stitch two-handed, especially because I'm not good with my left hand in general. So that's been a bit of a challenge. I can sit up there. All right, so quickly, other updates. Um, I didn't do any more on the sample of stitch along. Um, which ones did I show last time? That's the, that's the big question. Which ones did I show off last time? Um, as I write down which ones I work on each day. So um, the kit stitch along, which is the little teddy bear, Mirabilia, Joan Elliott. I did a little bit more on the Tilton Craft one, but I had to put it down because I realized as I was stitching one of the colors that there are two symbols that in the small print pattern look exactly the same in the pattern. And they are actually two different colors. And I kind of got frustrated because I had to frog a bunch of stuff. And then I just could not be bothered. I, I put it down. I was just like, not oh, too angry, not dealing with this now. Um, of course I have the hoop on it. Um, da -da 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 -da. Take the hoop off. Okay, so I did most of the fairy, all the cross stitching's done. I'm going to leave the back stitching and the beading and the chronix until last, um, or at least until later, because I want to put her on the... Um, homemade lap frame and sort of do it all in one go. Um, so I've started on the other fairy in the meantime. Um, the only issue I have with this project now is the um, other square down the bottom here has now been released and it's not one that I like. It's a fairy with a baby. I don't like babies. I don't know what to do with that square now because I don't want to stitch a baby really don't feel like stitching a baby. Um, as for Tilton, I didn't do a whole bunch. I was planning to do a lot more. I did about 150 stitches. doesn't seem like 150 stitches, but yeah. So I've just been filling in that section. Um, there wasn't enough the 310 to carry on to the next page or anything like that. So I'm starting on other colours. And there's just lots and lots of confetti. Um, this one's going to take me a long time because of the confetti. Um, and because after that incident with the uh, symbols being the same but being different, I just needed to take a break from that. Um, yeah, so my plans are to finish the little kit stitch along, little odd jobs bear. Um, then I'm going to switch back to the St. Patrick's Day stitch along. But I am quickly going to start my spring stitch along, which is, should be in this, where's my spring stitch along one? Is that it there? There it is. Okay. Can you back in there? Um, so this is a little kit that I'm doing for the spring stitch along. Some dragonflies. I'm actually really astounded it's taken me this long to stitch some dragonflies. So I haven't before, so yeah. Um, those are my plans so far. And then hopefully, hopefully this month I will get even better and get more stitching done. These are not pre sorted. God damn it. I like this, this kit, they weren't pre sorted. And some of the colours are so close together. In fact, there was none at all of this colour, which is supposed to be the undershadow for the bear. 
none in there at all. And I ran out of the floss for the rest of the bear. So I've had to dig through my DMC and dig them out and do it that way. So that's been annoying. And now I'm going to have to sort the floss too. God damn it. Oh wait, it might be sorted. Oh, that is the worst adhesive. Oh my god. That is horrific. God damn. Nope. They're sorted. It's okay. They're pre-sorted. That that fills me with relief. Anyway, um, I will leave all the details for places where I bought stuff down below. And also the new hand dyer and stuff like that will be below as well. So See you later.